Exif Utility writes metadata to your images with the help of keyword research and thesaurus tools. So this is a typical use case for Exif Utility. I've got a picture of myself here that I want to uh, rank a little bit better, uh, whether it's internally on my own hard drive or uh, you know, with search engines online like Google Image Search or Bing Image Search. Um, I have a picture of myself. I have a title here. I've put in Sexiest Man on Earth. I've checked the box that says I want to rename the image to match uh, so that uh, it will actually rename the image from whatever it is now to sexiestmanonearth.jpg. Copyright notice 2015bribedos.com. You can put whatever you want in here. Uh, I've got an image author field and I've got a longer description in here. And you can put paragraphs in this description, but I've just put in a single sentence. And then we need to come up with some keywords, and this is where Exif Utility does uh, its best work. So I'm just going to start with the single keyword man, and I'll click search. And you can see that we've pulled in a whole bunch of extra uh, words here that we may not have thought of on our own. Now, um, the easiest way to deal with this is to just delete the um, keywords that you don't want and leave in what you do. So I'm just gonna quickly go through here. I'm gonna keep manservant in here just for the hell of it because I think it's hilarious. Um, all right, we'll go with that. And then I'm just gonna copy those keywords down and you can see they automatically get put into the image keywords section. I'm gonna type in pipe here. All right, so I got pipe, uh, tobacco pipe. I think that might be a shepherd's pipe, but whatever, we'll go with that. All right, so copy those in. I'll type handsome. Oh, I like all those words. Handsome, fine looking, good looking, better looking. You can see it pulls in a lot of really cool terms. And then over here, we also have some terms we might like. Um, keep everything but those. So I'll copy those down and I'll copy all of those down. And you can see here it just keeps populating my keywords with whatever I find and I can just keep going back for um, more terms. So let's go with purple because I'm wearing a purple shirt. Purple, violet, purplish. I like these. See imperial, majestic, regal, royal, embellished, chromatic. All right, we'll go with those for now. Copy down, and I don't think any of these are going to make sense. Uh, you know what? Let's go with uh, actually purple haze because it is kind of a hazy photo. So we'll copy that down. So you can see you can just keep going and find as many keywords as you want uh, to populate this image keywords field. And then all we have to do is click apply data. And you can see here in my uh, Mac, it's actually made a copy of the photo named it uh, lowercase sexiest man on earth with dashes instead of spaces so that's the most compatible it can be. And here's the difference. The original photo, which is still intact, uh, you can see here in the more info in my properties panel, it doesn't show you any data. But then if I look at the new one, look what we have here. We have a title, we have a description, we have the headline, which is also the title, and then we have our keyword set. And what's great about this is not only does this make your images easier to find online, it makes them easier to find on your own hard drive. So if I want to, you know, if I want to search for manservant on my own hard drive, I can just do a quick Mac spotlight search and you can see that it automatically finds my image because the keyword is buried in the metadata. So it makes it easier to find your own digital assets on your hard drive and easier to find um, your digital assets on the internet. You know, the same data that your hard drive reads, uh, Google says that they read all this EXIF data and I'm sure the other image search engines do as well. Um, another cool feature about EXIF utility is you can look at your images in a list. So if you have thousands of images that you wanna go through, this will just you know populate all of your images that you've imported from a folder into this one space. And you can apply the metadata to all the images at the same time, and you can scrub the metadata from all the images at the same time. Uh, and then if you click on main, it just takes you back to the keyword research screen so that you can repeat the process.